So, before we begin this video, I just want to start off by saying, no, it's not clickbait. I really was involved in a pretty big, nasty accident. And um, obviously didn't plan on making this video. It's not a video I wanted to make, but hopefully by me making this video, by putting it out there, it's gonna help uh, educate you guys. And hopefully you can basically learn from some mistakes I've made um, today. Um, but without further ado, I'm just going to show you the car and kind of explain exactly what's happened. So here she is, Project KFC, BMW E91 318D. And yeah, this thing was already a Cat S write-off, so it's definitely going to be another write-off um, after this fact. So I think we'll start at the front. As you can see, front bumper is scrap. The front AC condenser is scrap. Front bonnet is scrapped. I don't know what's sort of going on with the crash bar. Obviously, I can't even open the bonnet at this point. Headlights, they look like they're fine, to be honest. I can't see any cracks on them. So they look okay. I've had a quick look underneath and everything looks, you know, where it should be. Although I'll kind of take you around the back and explain things there. Um, obviously, I'll explain kind of exactly what happened uh, afterwards, but um, yeah, you can probably kind of tell at this point. I've obviously shown you the damage at the front. This is all of the damage at the rear, so it doesn't look too bad here, does it? Like front bumpers just clipped out, so hopefully just clip that back in. Um, yeah, I don't think it's just going to be a, a bumper clip back in job. The exhaust is hanging down. I guess the... Uh, rubber mount kind of just snapped that's all kind of on the wonk and um, you know the tailgate that's all dented in and yeah that's pretty much all you can see from here but yeah underneath structurally wise it all looks to be okay however let's open the boot Let's have a look in here. So we have daylight through there. Obviously need to get all this removed and we can have a proper look but uh, I don't think that's going to be repairable. Let's, uh, let's get all this removed and we'll have a, a good proper look. Uh, this should all lift out now. Ugh. Ah, yeah, that's not supposed to be like that, is it? So, in actual fact, it's not as bad as what I thought. I thought all this was going to kind of be crushed in. But it looks like it still has its proper shape. It's just obviously... Hold on. This is just plastic. Wait, what? The boot floor is just plastic. Obviously this can be replaced. Where's the... Surely not. I didn't know that. Okay, that's potentially good news for this car. It looks like this can be repairable because this is just bolted in. So... Right, well, 
that's yeah like I said not as bad as what I thought it was going to be so need a new one of these new rear bumper the exhaust sorting the mounting bracket or whatever probably uh, one or two trim pieces underneath and then of course the front of the car sorting as well now then let me best try and explain exactly what happened bear in mind this all only happened like an hour ago i wanted to make this video now because it's kind of fresh in my mind um i didn't really want to sleep on it because you end up forgetting a load of things so first and foremost then i me and my soon to be wife are actually back on the way home from the gym and it's only like a 20 minute drive back uh, traffic was pretty busy um, it's uh, what day is it today Saturday yeah it's a Saturday so traffic's pretty busy um, we come down a, a dual carriageway essentially which is a 70 mile an hour road and then at the end of that dual carriageway you've got a big island and then there's lights and all the rest of it so generally when you get to the end of that dual carriageway you slow down because there's lights and there's generally a lot of traffic there so yeah, it's coming down that dual carriageway. Um, obviously, yeah, traffic. I know to slow down because the lights are slowing down, slowing down, and then all of a sudden, the car in front slows down, but very quickly, so it kind of slams on its brakes. So I was like, right, okay, I'll slam on my brakes, um, and I stopped, um, you know, obviously in time. There was probably, I don't know, four, five six feet I, I really don't know at this point i know i was i know i'd stopped anyway before i obviously hit the car in front i was like bloody hell that was they broke a little bit um sharply and then i thought wait if i've had to break that sharp how sharp are the people behind me gonna have to stop and that's when i kind of winced a bit and um and then yeah obviously had an impact in the back um, and I just thought it was the car behind me. They just went into the back of me. No, basically it turns out that there was four cars involved. So obviously the car in front of me, myself, the car behind me, and then the car behind that. Long story short, the fourth car, so the, the last car at the back, they had actually caused the whole entire accident. Um, they had went into, so car four had went into car three and then car three went into me and then I just literally touched the car in front of me. Um, so basically, you know, everyone got pushed uh, forward essentially. Uh, we actually found out the person in car four was a drunk driver. Yeah, they had to, um, it was a little, acting a little bit strange at the scene or so some people said. Um, and then, yeah, they, they must've got breathalyzed straight away because the police literally arrested them like there and then on the spot. So yeah, he got taken away. And then I think for the most part, everyone was okay, apart from one of the guys in that car who caused the accident. Um, he must not have been wearing a, a seatbelt because he must have went into the windscreen because his windscreen was all smashed blood coming down his face and all the rest of it yeah it wasn't a nice scene at all um so yeah i guess this is why you never go in a car without a seat belt this is why you never you know drive or let someone drive that has been drinking you think that your reactions are absolutely fine but they're not it's honestly not worth it i never ever draw i mean I don't really drink anyway, I'm not a big drinker, but if I was to drink, I would never then drive after. It's really not worth it. Um, you know, things could have turned out a lot worse. You know, somebody could have died, um, like in an accident like that. Um, it was kind of lucky because speeds were quite um, low. Um, I have no idea how fast, you know, the cars behind were going or whatever, but yeah, obviously me and my partner were fine, um, you know, probably got a stiff neck or whatever but i'm sure we'll be fine um the car has you know stayed in one piece so i guess the car's done its job none of the airbags were deployed which is another good thing i guess um but yeah honestly if you are watching this and you ever are thinking of driving after drinking don't do it because it's not worth it that guy's obviously got arrested now it's you know, will have lost his license, and that's gonna affect a load of things, um, you know, leading on from that. So, 
yeah that's not worth it um, another thing though which I I don't know why I've done it but my I obviously have a dash cam fitted in this car long story short the uh, memory card wasn't in it and so I didn't have it plugged in I was trying to get some footage off it before and I didn't get around to putting the memory card back in so another thing have a dash cam in your car make sure it's plugged in make sure it's on and make sure that you have the memory card fitted in um, because yeah I'm sure it's going to be a whole mess now when it comes to the insurance because unfortunately it is to my knowledge that the insurance basically just claim off the person that was behind you in a in a pile of accident like this even though I was already stopped and stationary um, and obviously the car behind me had pushed me the car behind that had pushed them um, yeah I think you know it's just going to be a right mess I'll probably end up losing my no claims bonus and everyone is going to be affected from this you know moving forward so could have easily been avoidable today um, it's frustrating it is what it is one thing though uh, for sure is that I'm glad it's happened to the KFC mobile because um, if it happened to one of my more nicer cars maybe that maybe the 130i maybe the 760 Li I would have been devastated because obviously put a lot of time money and effort into those cars and you know to keep them looking nice whereas this is just a, a cheap daily driver and I'm not too precious about it but yeah, it's um, frustrating. Where I go from here, I don't know. Uh, if you have any advice, I may or may not have already made a decision at this point, but if you have any advice, leave it down below in the comments. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna go through the insurance. Um, I mean, I'm probably gonna have to go through the insurance on the guy that went into the back of me, but the person in front of me, bless her, little elderly woman, um, there really wasn't much damage on her car, so I don't know if it's worth me just repairing, you know, getting her bumper respray, because I think it's literally just a bumper respray that she that she needed. Um, and yeah, a lot of things to weigh up, so I need to have a good think, and, uh, and I think we'll go from there. But yeah, like I said, I didn't want to make this video um, but obviously I've got to explain what's kind of going on with the car because next time you see it if it's not here or if it's you know um, still smashed up then you'd be wondering what's happened so I thought I'd explain myself and uh, kind of keep you guys in the loop um, I'm going to include all of the footage that I took at the scene uh, minus anyone's faces I'm obviously not going to put any personal details or anyone's faces in the video um, I'll include all that onto this video and uh, hopefully you can get a better picture of exactly what happened. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this one here anyway. Hopefully you all have enjoyed it. Give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I'll see you all in that next one. Mm -hmm.